Day recognized the presence of the jury? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes. All right. All right. Welcome back, folks. Ms. Waterman, you may proceed. Thank you, Judge. Mr. Lloyd. Yes, sir. In the period of time that you were dating Sade, she was living with you, did you have a belief about whether or not there were firearms kept in Sade's parents' home? Yes, sir. And what was your belief? Uh, they had guns and there was a gun family. And, and also, I thought she had another gun which she, which she showed me on her page. So I, I thought that was her gun and her, she probably had in her room too. What kind of gun are you referring to? I don't know about guns, so I don't know. I thought it was an AK-47. Okay, and what was it on? What it was on, it was on her, her Instagram page. All right. Can I have a moment, Judge? Yes. Can we come sidebar, Judge? Sure. Were there any other weapons that you were aware of that were kept at that house besides the possibility that you just spoke of? Any additional weapons? No, she, she just talked about guns. I, 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 always, I always thought they was just a gun family. So you thought they were a gun family? Yes. Now, during the time that you were together after you found out she was pregnant, did she ever discuss with you any issues regarding her? mother or grandmother's opinion about what they wanted the baby? Yes, uh, her mother and her grandmother wanted her to abort the baby. Sustained. Um, well, hold she, on, Mr. Lloyd. I haven't ruled this is admissible. You're going to need to lay a predicate for it because I'm not getting anything here. She never liked me for no reason. She, from day one, she was disrespectful. But I never disrespected her, though. And in regards to the way the mother felt about you, did the issue of her opinion about what she had with the child come into play? Yes, so, so basically, when I broke up with her and, and took her home, 
I was going to put up, she was doing, she, she, she used to lie a lot, but I was going to put up with it. I, I used to put up with it. And I was going to wait to like six months and I was going to leave her so she can be what she want to be, do what she want to do. But I didn't want her to abort the baby. And I know how female, females get vindictive and they would, they, she know I want this child and females would do stuff like that. And then on, then on top of the fact, her mother already wanted her to get an abortion, so I knew with her being home with her mom now, they go, they go intensify her just going ahead and getting an abortion because she mad at me. And then her mom and, and grandmother already want her to get an abortion. And so she texts me. That's when she texts me the message, don't expect no baby. So that... Okay. During this period of time, you testified that there was some conflict between you and Sade about her eating you and smoking you. Yes. Okay. You just mentioned that at some point you were thinking ahead that you wanted this child no matter what. Yes. Okay. Explain that to the jury. Well, from the first day we met, so we had sex like the second day. So from September the 17th to the time that we did the sonogram, which I already felt that already, because I'm like, she didn't have a period that month. We started having sex on the 17th. So I'm like, man, I believe you was pregnant for already before, before I got with you. And she was like, no, I haven't had sex for 10 months. But I, I, I didn't believe that, so, but it don't make no difference. I want, I wanted the child, so you pregnant, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the only father the child knows, so. And then. So did it bother you that it could have been someone else's child? Nah. Another man's child involved uh, no, you? No, I take care of other people, other man's kids all, all my life. That didn't threaten you, the masculinity, or? <laughs> negative. No, sir, negative. So you really didn't care whether it was your child or not? No, sir. You wanted that child? It was mine. Did you, did you know about the situation with her other children and who was raising the other children? Yes. Who yes, sir. Her, her mom was raising them. Okay. And so did there come a time when you started thinking to yourself that you are leading there? Sister. How was it that you decided you wanted to have this child whether she wanted it or not? Explain that to the jury. So I was going to stay with her to six months. So when I, when I sent her home at six months, she's not going to be able to get abortion then. So I was going to give her six months. So I had talked to one of my exes who I was in a relationship with, and I ended up, I left her for, I left, I left her because we had the situation dealing with me and her relationship where she got the mental issue, the one the dude locked up. She got a mental, she got a... Wait for a second so the jury understands. The woman that you're talking about is one of the women that were arrested and charged yes. in this case. Yes. So it was locked up and three weeks. Yes. And then the charges were dropped. Yes. Okay. So... What's her name? Jimmy Slaughter. Jimmy Slaughter. So... Me and her was in a relationship. When I got in a relationship with her, I had an ex before her that was blackmailing me and making me have making me have sex with her and give her money. So while I was trying to move on in the next relationship, I'm, I'm letting her listen. I'm, I'm, I'm letting her see like what this girl doing. So she's like, all right, let her come over, let her come over, so so I, so I can have sex with her, so she can uh, go on about her business. So, but she didn't come over that night, but in Jamise came back, but make a long story short, it's two times that I went and had sex with this girl. So Jamise, she and her feelings, she like, oh, you don't want to have sex with her, you just want to, I'm like, man, I don't just want to do that. She lying. I got to wait till I get my evidence, so I need to get some evidence on this girl. I'm like, this girl lying on me. Then she was like, you just want to do what you want to do. You just want to do what you want to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, I'm going to show you. You should have told me first. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to go have sex with my ex. So I tried to talk her out of it. Jamise, yes. I tried to talk her out of it, but she got the little mental issues, and I tried to teach her stuff. I tried to talk her out of it, but she she gets stuff in her head like now she got to do it. So I'm like, all right. 
if you need a ride, so I give her a ride to her, to her ex house. I'm like, when you done, call me. I leave, I guess she do what she do. She called me the next morning, I came around there and picked up. I'm like, all right, you got that shit off your chest? That what you feel like you had to do? You, you ready to move on? So I stayed with her. And so while I was with her, down the line, it came a time where she wanted to have kids so bad too. She don't have kids. Her sister at the time had seven. She got her sister pregnant again with number eight. So she been more trying to have kids all for a long time. She hasn't been having any. So she get in this phone like, I don't want to have sex. What I'm having sex for? What I'm having sex for? Oh, I, I can't have no kids. Why I'm having sex? Why I'm having sex? So I'm like, man, you tripping? I I, I want to have sex. So I'm, she like, oh, I don't want to have sex. Like, what I'm having sex for? I ain't having no kids. So it's like three days go by. I pleasure myself. So I'm like, right, I'm trying to go along. I know she's going through stuff. I'm trying to beat her for her. But then my mind go, I'm like, hold up, man. You don't want to have sex with me, but you went on, you don't want to have sex with your motherfucking ex. I'm like, see, excuse me. Oh, that's how I was talking. That's what I was talking. That's what I was saying. <laughs> so, all right. I thought I wanted to say what we said, my bad. So I'm like, you don't want to have sex with me, but you went to have sex with your ex. You should have felt like that when you went to have sex with another man. So I'm like, man, you go have sex with me. I'm a matter of fact, I took my stuff and I broke up with her. Right, so when you broke her to her at Boyfriend's house, you were jealous that she was having sex with you? No, he ain't having sex with me. He having sex with her. And just to jump ahead again, mm -hmm. We'll get into this in detail. Ron says that you have a conversation with him about her fooling around on you. Mm -hmm. What was that really about? What was that conversation? I never, I, I never told him that. What I, what I told him, she said, she, she said, she called me and she said she's going to be fucking niggas with my, excuse me. She said she's going to be having sex with, with, with niggas with my baby, and then she also texts me saying that. I seen what I need to see. Uh, you, you this and you that, uh, f nigga and all this. Uh, so uh, don't be, isn't it? Don't be. Uh, when, when when I'm fucking off, I got every reason to fuck off the fuck or whatever, whatever. Is is? I can't remember. It's, it's in the text right. message. So we're gonna get to that in a minute. So so when this conversation was being had between you and Rod. Mm -hmm. You weren't saying that you thought she was Negative. around. You were talking about texts that she had sent you that day. Text in the call. Jealous rage. That's it. And ranting and things that she had said to you that day leading up to you going over the house. That's all I that's all I said. Then I'm, I'm like I'm like, no, nah, bro, I said she tripping. She text she texting me. Don't expect no baby. Like she go kill the baby or get abortion tomorrow. She gonna be fucking nigga with the baby. She gonna be fucking all. That's what I said. And I never said she was fucking nobody. All right. So let's go back to the original reason we brought up Janice. Mm -hmm. That was that she was going to help you. Yeah, so basically I got with Janice, Janice one day. So I got with her and I'm like, she got, she got six months to get her stuff together. If she don't have stuff together in six months, I'm going to leave her. Me and you go get back together, and me and you go raise the baby. But why, why were you already talking about that? Because it, it wasn't the fact that she's smoking and eating meat and doing it. It's, it's the fact that she's lying. And I, lying. yes. Yeah, did you have conversations to, with her about her lying? Yeah, that's uh, some of the first we first inboxed each other. I wrote a long, long, a long message, and basically I let her know, like no matter what, you, no matter what you do, I only ask, ask you for, ask you for one thing: don't lie to me. Whether it's big or small, no matter what you do, don't lie to me. Because if you lie, they go build out anything we're trying to build. And I'm like, the devil is a lie. So I, I don't do, I don't like liars. And was she lying to you about what we need to the car? Yes. Okay. Were you still trying to make it work? Yes, of course. Okay. Did there come a time, um, some days before this incident happened, that you went and to the lake with her and her children? 
Yes, uh, that was on December the 10th. She uh, she finally brought the kids over because she, she didn't bring the kids around because she wanted to make sure, and I respected that, and, and she wanted to make sure that this was where she was going to be at before she let her kids get attached to, to the, I guess, to the man, to, to, a, to a man. So she finally brought the kids, she finally brought the kids over. So we went out, I went out to the lake, Lake Yola. Let me ask you how far is it? Mm -hmm. So up to this point of December 10th, 2016, she had never brought the children to the house? No, sir. Okay. So the only time that you had seen her children was at her mother's house? Yes, sir. Okay. And it was um, your understanding that the reason that she did not bring the children did question you. Sustained. When she spoke to you about why she didn't bring the children over sooner, what was your response to her? You know, I, I, that's what I just said. I respected that she didn't want to, she wanted to make sure this is where she was going to be before she had her kids getting attached to another, to a man. So she wanted to make sure this is what the relationship she would be in, which I had an already asked her father anyways, can I marry her? So we was already having plans to get married. Okay, so I want to talk about that. Did there come an occasion that you and her father had a conversation about uh, her being pregnant? Yes. Yes, sir. Well, basically, uh, she didn't. She didn't tell her parents she was she was pregnant, and she didn't tell her. She really didn't want to tell her mother, because she also she said they did the same thing to her with her first. She uh, her mother did the same thing. Her grandmother did the same thing with her first two kids. So she didn't tell them, but she filled out. Excuse me. Uh, she uh, wanted her to abort her kids. So she uh, she filled out uh, uh, for the she was getting the food stamp card, so she added the baby on there. And so when the mail came to her mom house, that's how her mom found. I guess her mom opened her mail, so she knew. But she just wasn't saying anything. She was waiting for Shadé to tell her. But I told her father, and she was kind of upset with me. But I was telling everybody I'm happy. So I, I ain't. I'm, I told her father, and me and him had a talk. He was like, you know, this this is on you. Your, your baby's not gonna get the same thing that the other two kids get. So I basically told him, I, I don't need nobody to take care of my child. As long as I'm here, my child ain't gonna need nobody. Okay. And so, when was that conversation? Do you remember? No. Uh, I don't know if it was that. Probably some, somewhere, probably somewhere in November. I can't remember. Now, I wanna go back a, a little bit before we get to the 10th. Was there an occasion where there was some jealousy that developed on her part? Yes. Can you explain to the jury how that happened and why? Well, basically, I got a, a load of female friends on Facebook, so females always, they always coming. They always coming, so she, she on my page, and then one night we went out, me and her sitting in the car, and Jamise came up. Jamise and her friend came up. So then she came up to the car. But I hadn't already been telling Jamise, anyways, I'm finna get in a relationship. Because I was trying to get back with Jamise before me and Sade got back together. But she was still upset that I broke up with her. So I was trying to get back with her. So one day me and Sade was in the car, and Jamise came up to the car. And then she was like, what's up? I'm like, I'm like, man, I said, this this the girl I was telling you about. I told, I told her I was going to get in a relationship. She's like, yeah, but I ain't no use for to do it this fast. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, but I'm in a relationship now. So she just started then, Jamie tried try to be messy, but like, well, I don't care. Just give me some money. Just give me some money. I'm like, man, going on. So her and her friend, they, she walked away. Her friend stayed, but her friend was just looking crazy, but her friend went away, finally went away. So. I would come home. I would come home some days, and so they would be on my on my Facebook page because we was on it together. She stopped being on hers. She used to be on mine. Did she have your password? Yes. How did she get the password to your Facebook? Yes, because uh, she asked me for it. And then when I'm in a relationship, I don't have no secrets. You want my Facebook page? You want my phone? Whatever you want, you can have. 
So I want the trust to be there. So I ain't got nothing to hide. You want the password, whatever, you can have it. So she, one day you came home. Yes, and uh, she was on she was on my page, and she uh, uh, followed Jamise. So I come, I'm like, what you following her for? She's like, oh, uh, this, this type of females you want? Because I, I guess they was on there doing at the time they had a challenge called uh, F it up. What they call F it up? But they dancing, doing dance moves. It's F it up. So she was like, oh, this type of all ratchet females you want, or whatever, whatever. And then it was a time where I had another ex call my phone with me, and Shadi was in the car. I had the phone on on uh, the Bluetooth, and the female called. She was like, what's up? I'm like, man, what's up? Then she was like, what you doing? I'm like, man, I, I done got into a relationship now. Nah, I can't talk to you no more. She was like, yeah. She was like, what, what, what she right? She, she right there with you now? I'm like, yeah, she like, well, all right then. So I guess she hung up. But she ended up calling back because thinking, she's thinking I'm finna still mess with her. But I wasn't. So she asked me who that was. I'm like, her name Puerto Rican Princess on Instagram. And I showed her. So she seen, she seen Puerto Rican Princess. So she was, that's now I know she done blocked them. She was blocking all type of females. And she just always felt like I was doing something. I worked in the strip club too. As a as a security. Was there uh, ever an occasion that you were not faithful to her and suspected? Yes. Tell the truth about that. Well, one day she went somewhere. I, I don't know. I don't know where she went, but by this time she had, she just lied. She was lied about so much stuff, so I didn't trust her. So she went somewhere, so I called Jamise. I'm like, man, what's up, where you at? She said, I'm at the, uh, I'm at the jail house visiting my brother. So I'm like, well, when you, uh, when you done, come on, come down Rio Grande and pick me up. So she came down Rio Grande, she, I, I ran down the street, she picked me up, so we get in the car. So she was like, uh, where, your girl, where, where your girl at? I said, I don't know, she probably with somebody, I don't know. I don't, so were, were you I, mad at her? Nah, God gave you a right to choose. That's what you want to do. That's your choice. I don't lose, you lose. And so what happened? So I, I went with Jamise. Me and Jamise went and had sex. And so that's when I told him, like, man, well, man, you go get back together. I'm like, I'm going to get her six months to get her stuff together. I, I said, she got her stuff together, I'm going to stay with her. I said, if she don't, me and you go get back together. Cause at six months she ain't gonna be able to get her abortion, so then she was like, "All right, bet." So we, so I had to make the future plans for Jamisha to be the to be the mother, because I already knew that her father them, her mother, they don't want my child. They I already told her they weren't gonna do nothing for the child. So I already knew. All I had to do was just sign the birth certificate. Where it was biologically mine or not, I signed the birth certificate. By law, it's mine now, and I knew I, I would I would be able to get the child, and me and Jamisha was gonna raise. Yes. And what happened where Sade found out about was suspected? Because I came home, when I came home from, when I came, when Jamise dropped me off, she dropped me off down the street. So I ran home. When I came home, Sade was finally home, came in. I got ready for work. I went to work. And then, I came back home from something from work to get something. I can't I can't remember. But when I came back home, Shadi was like, have sex with me. So I'm like, no, nah, man, uh, I gotta get back to work. I gotta get back to work. I'm I'm late, I'm late. She like, no, nah, have sex with me. So I'm like, all right. So I tried, but it didn't, it ain't nothing happened. So I'm like, I'm like, no, nah, I'm all, like I'm nervous, man, because I'm late. She's like, no, nah. she's like, I already so like, you ain't nervous. You've been having extracurricular activities. So like, I know you, Marquis. I know you. So I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm just late for work. So I ended up just going to work. So she figured I was with someone then. I, I went and slept with someone. So, no, not at that point, no, sir. Because I, I didn't, I'm still, now I'm thinking, I'm still thinking about the baby. So um, I want to go back to the tent now. So mm -hmm. 
You were talking about the lake. Yes, sir. Tell us about what the lake was about and what happened. Well, she, she brought the kids over, so we, I went to the lake trying to have a little family time, family day. It's my first time, the kids being around me, so I'm trying to build a relationship with the boys. So we went out to the uh, Lake, Lake Yola. So we got at Lake Yola. We got there just on the playground. They got a playground in the back part. We playing, on the, we playing on the playground with the kids, me and the kids playing. So she's just on her phone, whatever she's doing, she's going through her phone, so me and the kids playing. And I'm like, Shawty, what's wrong with you? She was like, nothing. So she just got this funky little attitude. So I don't know. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, me and the kids, we, we finna go ride, uh, ride the swan. So she, she was like, all right. I'm like, come on. So we walking this way. She's like, no, nah, y'all can go here. I'm gonna go the other way. So you, if, I don't know if you ever been to Lake Yola. Like, it's a big lake and you, me and her kid, we walking this way and you walking the whole other way. So now we walk two sides, walking around the lake. Whatever she doing, why is she doing? She on the phone doing whatever she doing. So we get to the, uh, now we finally meet up by the swan side. So I'm like, all right, then by the time we get there, then she's like, ah, they, they, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't need to, uh, they don't need to ride that. They already rode that before. So she was I'm talking like, about the swan ride. The swan, yeah. They ride with their children. Yes. Okay. And then, I, but I'm, I'm saying to myself, I ain't never rode the swan before. I wanted to ride. And, and have fun with them. I'm trying to spend time trying to build a relationship with, with our kids. So I'm like, all right, then, man, I just saved me $15. I think it was $15 to ride it. So we left. We going back to the house, and she just still got this funky attitude. So I'm like, man, you know what? I'm not going to be around this. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go home. I can be give me some sleep. Give me some sleep. Get ready for work. So I went home and just gave her the keys. Cause that's how she would do. She was star stuff, and she know I'm not gonna get from around that. I try not to be negative. So I gave her the keys. I gave her the key. We get home. She jump out the car. She like, uh, Takor, Takor, come on, girl, let's go ride. Let's go ride. Who's Takor? Uh, her friend. Is that Glenn's, 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 Glenn's girlfriend? girlfriend? Shadé's friend, yes. So you got back to the house, and she left with Takor. Not only to call to call in a little bit, and then she was like, "Little bit, little bit, girl, get up, get up, get up, come ride with us, come ride with us." So I'm, I'm saying to myself, "Man, you just had an attitude with me about nothing." All right, but I, I, I know it. I know what she. I know what she. I know what she's going to do. But she always, she always to do this. She just starts stuff to go whatever and do whatever. So let's so, talk about that a little bit. When you say she starts stuff and then goes, what are you talking about? She was. She was start start arguments. And then she know when she started, I'm, I'm not finna stay around that. I'm gonna give you the keys. I'm gonna go into bed. I'm gonna go to sleep before I sit in here arguing with you about nothing. So I ain't do, ain't did nothing to you. So what is we going through something for? Now, why do you think she's doing that? Cause she wanna go get high. She wants to go get high, and you don't want her to smoke pot. No, but the, the so she that causes wanna, friction between you two. But she wanna go. That's that, that's her business. The only thing I, I don't. I don't only thing my concern was you lying about it and I don't want you smoking while you're pregnant. That was, the child was my concern, but her smoking, I knew she was a smoker when I got with her. But now it's like it's a baby involved now. It ain't about you. You got to think about the life that's growing inside of you. So I think that's just selfish. I, I, I smoke, but I, I'm not smoking because I'm on probation. My baby, my baby worked more than probation. I can stop for probation, but you can't stop for a child. So she leaves, and what happens? So her, her and Takora and a little bit, and the kids, they leave. They go, uh, they go, uh, I think they, I find out they went to uh, Lake Lana Doom. I guess they went and bought some weed. They went to Lake Lana Doom. I guess the kids was in the park playing while her, Takora, and a little bit, they in the car getting high. So I'm in the bed, sleep, give me some rest for work. So. Then she come, I guess they come, it's almost time for me to go to work. She come home, boom, now she jump in the bed, now she playing with me, now, now she happy. She happy. But I get up, I'm like, I'm like, man, you, you, you high? I'm like, she like, no, I ain't high. I'm like, man, you look high. She's like, no, I ain't high, I, I wanna smoke. I'm like, man, you smell like weed too. She's like, no, I was just around people that were smoking. I'm like, yeah, all right. 
So now she get out the bed. Now she get from around, she go on the table on her phone. So I get ready for work. I come out. So usually, usually when she do this, I don't say nothing. She been lying to me about smoking weed, and I know she been getting high. But it's like, if you go smoke weed, I say, I, say, I, I feel like you high. I know you high. I see it in your eye, but you telling me you ain't. And I ain't seen you smoke. I'm not finna see him argue with you about that. All right, but you, you got that. But this time, the only reason I even, what made me upset about the whole situation was you started this, you started this bull crap while these kids over here. I'm trying to build a relationship with these kids and you trying to start an argument around these kids. So you, you think about getting high, but you ain't even thinking about what, I'm, what we trying to build, what I'm trying to build with these kids. You ain't thinking about the kids involved right now. You trying to start an argument so you can go get high. So that made me, that really made me address it. Cause I could have been addressing, she been getting high. So now, while I'm, while I'm going to work, I stop by the core room. I go into the core room, I'm like, damn, why you let Sade smoke? And you know, you know she pregnant. And then she was like, she was like, damn, said next time I just won't pass it to her. That means she was smoking. So now, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, how to say it? If you tell me you wasn't, I tell you you was. I can't pinpoint it. Even though I know you have, but you telling me you ain't. All right, I'm not gonna argue with you about that, but now, you got a co-defendant with you. So I went to your co-defendant, and your co-defendant told on you, now you bust. So what happened? So I went to her, I told him, like, man, I'm like, let me holler. I'm like, man, why you just sat there? And that was one of the texts I text too. I said, why you just sat there lying in my face like I'm some goddamn fool, like I don't know you how? I said, you see, here, started it, you started this, you started this trash. Why these kid, why these kids around here? I'm like, man, all you doing, I'm not, I can't, I don't trust you. I, I don't want to be with you no more. And I left and went to work. And so when I left and went to work, she texted me. She said, is that, is that what you truly want? I wrote a long post. I wrote a long post and I was going to post it on Facebook. But I didn't post it because a lot of the females, they was like, they was like, Marky, why you always posting, posting everything on Facebook? Every time you going through with a female, you be, you be uh, posting the stuff on Facebook. I'm like, well, they don't want their business on Facebook. Don't mess with me and do nothing wrong. I ain't gonna push on Facebook because I, I say if I do something wrong, you can post me on Facebook. So if you get with me and you wrong, I'm putting you on Facebook. So, so this time I said I ain't gonna do that because a lot of females were telling me stop, don't do that. I'm like, all right. So this time I say I ain't gonna do that. So instead of me making, the, instead of me posting the post, I screenshotted it and I sent it to her. By text. By text, yes. Okay. So let's stop for a second and talk about that. During your relationship with her, would it be fair to say that a lot of or, or some of your communications was in the form of text? Yes. Okay. And during this period of time, beginning uh, in December of 10th of 2016, all the way up till after the shooting, did you communicate with her by text? Yes. Okay. And in those communications, are the things that you are talking about now part of those texts? Yes. Judge, I'd move in. Any objection? Yeah. I'm sorry. This is the week before beginning on the tenth, all the way to the four oh four AM text. How many photographs is it? 
I'm sorry, I'm this is exhibit number is U. How many is how many pages is it? Oh, it's a uh, page fifty four through sixty one. So yeah. sorry, this will be admitted without objection as composite exhibit number twelve from defense. I think this one is 12. I think, I'm sorry, this one's 11. It's 11, not 12. Thank you. That was my bad. I'd also move in, uh, th this is the exact same thing, but it's on disk. Uh, oh, oh. No objection? All right, this will be received without objection. It's um, defense exhibit number 12. Can you pull this up? No. Yeah, 12. Beginning with this one? 12. You don't it? And this is the defense exhibit for one week. Okay, before we start going over this, at some point during the text, um, is there screenshots that she sends you from your Facebook? Yes, sir. Okay. How did she obtain those Facebook screenshots? Basically, when I took her home, I logged her up out of my, uh, up off my, up off my Facebook, because I would have, she was logged in, my Facebook on her phone, because I was letting her share my page, so we was on my, on my page together. So I hadn't forgot that earlier I had gave her my passcode, so I guess she logged back into my, she logged back into my account and went on my private messenger and seen me talking to other females. All right, so I'm moving in. This is um, those images. Did I blow up with that? And she sent him. No objection? No objection, Your Honor. That's going to be Judge R. Is it a composite? And T. What's R? Is it a composite? R is the disk. Okay. No, no, R is the composite. How many pages? Five. Okay. Five pages. So R is 12, Defense Exhibit 12. And then T objection. is the, the disk of that information. And T is 13 without objection. Or am I off on the numbers again? So it's 13 and 14. Okay, Marquis, I'm yes, going to refer to <coughs> Exhibit U, um, and I want to read some text to you, all right? Um, okay. 
Your number is 407-310-5402. Is that your phone number then? I, it probably was. Or her it number. It probably was her number. I'm sorry? I think it was her number. Okay. I, I think mine was 202. I don't remember the numbers. This is going to be a long time. Your number was 407-202? Yeah, that Actually, was mine. I have. I can use this. Uh... Ted, do you know how to work this? This is page one. That's, uh, no, that's not it. Things start at the bottom. Mine started at the bottom right there. All right. Now, there's this text here, which is the 407-310. That's her. That's her. Yes, sir. And she's saying, is that what you want? Is that what you truly want? Okay. And what was she talking about? That's when I just, uh, when they came back from getting high and and I addressed the issue and I told her I don't, I don't want to be with her no more. Now, according to that text, this is 7.23 in the morning or 7.23 in the evening, which is it? No, that's it, I was at work. Cause I, told her I just went to work, I had to be to work at six. All right, so that's PM. PM, yes sir. All right. The next page, you say. I said what I wanted was to spend my life with someone that I can trust with my life, but you can't even be trusted with your word. Now, what are you talking about there? Is this the incident that happened after you left the lake? Yeah, it's, it's just this is about her just, just lying. OK. It's not just about the lake. That was just, that just brought it to a head and it made me jump the gun because I was going to give her six months. But what made me upset is that you did this while the kids was here. Okay. And that's what I didn't like. And then you say to her. You just sat there lying in my face and then catching the attitude with me like I'm tripping. That's how y'all do. Do stuff and try to beat your mate getting mad, shaking my head, shit crazy. Okay, she's not responding between these, right? It's just you. It's just me right now. And are you at work when you're doing this? Yes, sir. Okay. And then you say? I say it, it hurts because it's my time and money wasted. I've done everything to make you happy, and I've been with you, never asked you for anything. From the beginning, I told you I wanted one thing from you, and I can deal with what comes along. I told you whatever you do, never lie to me. Big or small, because it could destroy anything that we try to build. Why do people lie? Why do people lie? And when one lie leads to another, it makes me wonder what else you, what else caught you sneaking eating meat? Now it is. What else? Now, is this all before she moved out? I broke up with her and went to work. I took her home the next day. All right. So the next day would have been the after 11. these texts? Yes. Okay. So these texts are before you actually took her home? Yes, I'm at work. Okay. And then what do you say? I put lying never makes things better, only worse when the truth is the best solution when dealing with the ones you love. And then she finally responds at um, 8.06 p.m. She said, I, she said, I asked myself the same thing. You haven't been with, you haven't been, uh, they don't have the uh, Okay, do you, we need to emotions. read this. I'll read this, okay? So I'll be her. I ask myself the same thing. You haven't been with me, which is why I don't keep it with you. I have no problem telling you the truth, but how can I do that when the whole relationship is built off a lie? You've been lying to me, and with you trying to put your hands on me every time I go to tell you how I feel, or explain to you all because I'm not saying what you want me to say makes me feel like I'm walking on pins and needles. Mm -hmm. I could have been left 
you for all the broken promises you told me you would never do, and slowly but surely, your true colors are showing. I did ask for this relationship, you did. If not treating me like a queen wasn't your intention, then you should have left me alone. Don't wait until I'm knee deep in with you to make it seem as though you're Mr. Perfect, because I could have been left you for trying to end my life. I have been knew you, your heart was somewhere else. I could tell the first arguments you call yourself leaving. Yes. What was she saying? Uh, let me see. She said, I asked myself the same thing. You haven't been 100. It's, it's emojis in there that, that these texts don't pick up. You haven't been 100 with me. That's why I haven't been 100 with you. You, you telling me, that's why I haven't been, you telling me, you true, I have to, let me slow down. I'm in a relationship, but it, it built off lies. The lies, I guess she's talking about the time that I just told you about. Assisting. Right. Now, did you have physical fights with her? Because she's, she's talking about, like, it sounds like you have physical fights. No, we had, we had one altercation. And, okay. And that's what she always try to use that when she does stuff to try to to try to play on my emotions, play on my feelings. And what was the altercation? At the beginning of our relationship, at the beginning of our relationship, she went somewhere one time, not the time with Jamie, it was the time before, because like I told you, she'd been lying about stuff. She went somewhere one time, so she came back. I'm like, I'm like, where you was? She's like, I was at my cousin's house. But I, I knew she was lying. So I go to her cousin's house and ask, but her cousin's going to work, so her, uh, her cousin boyfriend was there. I'm like, I'm like, shot they been around here? He was like, she was around here early, but my girl been to work three hours. She been working three hours. So I, right. so I go back home. I'm like, why you? I'm like, why you lying? You went at your cousin. I, I just went around there and asked her, and she, she was like, yes, I was. But she just kept on lying. So I grabbed, so I grabbed the by, I grabbed the by neck, and then I pushed her down. So. Basically, and that's what she told me. I grabbed her by her neck and I pushed her down. So when I did that, I told him I'm going to leave her. So, but she still wanted to, she still wanted to be with me, and that's the time she had just in the beginning of our relationship. I was just finding out she was pregnant. So I would have left her, especially when I put my hands on her. So now, by me by me trespassing on her, if my my hair, I had dreads that came way past my waist. So I had long hair. So by me trespassing on her, I felt like I had I had to give something. I had to give her up, or I had to give up. I had to give up. I had to give up something. So I cut my hair off. Hold on a second, Mr. Lenneman. Ma'am, do you need to move over? You're in seat number one. Are you? If you need to move over, do that. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Lenneman. So based on you putting hands on her, you felt that the way to repent for that was to cut your hair. Yes, yes, sir. Why? Because I, I, I love my hair, and I was wrong. Even though whatever she did, it makes no difference what she did. I had no right to put my hands on her. So I, I, I gave, I cut my hair off. Done, because obviously you're not honest with me, and I know, and I know it's not your first time lying to me about smoking. It makes me wonder. Now you say you, now you say you're not 100, because I'm not 100. Whatever, shaking my head. You just never was, anyways, because you just want to do you and have your cake and eat it too. 
And she, she responds, I've never stepped out on you if that's what you're trying to get at. And then she responds, no. Oh, yes. You have your cake and eat it too. You already said you was you was gone. What's that word? Fuck. It's a fuck. typo. It's fuck. Another female. You've been dying to do that, anyways. I'm loyal to you. Yeah. And then At 8.57 p.m., she texts, I'm sorry for lying to you about smoking on Yahweh himself. I've been honest to you about everything, but as you said, you'll see what he has planned for you. Whatever it is, I hope it's the, the right and best choice for you. Love you. And so the next response is at 12.36 a.m., correct? Yes. So you were working? I was working. Okay. And why is it that you didn't respond right away? Because I'm working, I'm delivering food. So okay. I'm in and out of the store, I'm in my car, I'm driving, so I, I can't drive and text. And then you respond cool, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And so... And then now at 3.10 a.m., you text no, her? No, before we, before we get there. Okay. So the next morning, I go to, I'm at work, so I get off at four in the morning. So now when I come home, it's, a, it's, it's another day. I come home, her and the kids in the bed sleep. They're in our room sleep. Okay, but first I wanna talk about this text because this text is at 3.10 a.m. No, no, these, uh, the text, what I said, cool, the uh -huh. other stuff don't come to after I take her home. She's still at my house right now. Okay. I okay, took her home. I got you. I, I took okay. her home on the. I took her home uh, on the eleventh. So the last text that you have, which is on page fifty-six of this, is her text. That was at eight fifty-seven p.m. Right here, which is twelve ten. Yes. That's the last text. And then the next text is not till 12 12. Yes. Okay, so t tell me what happens. You said you were at work till 4 a.m. What happens? So when I, when I get home, I come home, her and the kids in the bed sleep. So I don't wake them up. I don't get in the bed with them. My brother's gone. I go to sleep in my brother's room. So now I'm in my brother's room. So the next morning, she probably thinking that I was out with a female or whatever, because I don't come in the bed, go to sleep, but she got the kids in there. 
So I sleep in my brother's room. So when the, in the morning time come, she probably don't know where I'm at, whatever she's thinking. So now, get up, I go get in the bed, cause now everybody moving around. So I go get in the bed, she cooking breakfast. She cooking breakfast, and I always used to tell her, like, whatever problems we have in, into to, whatever problem we had today, let's not take it into tomorrow. So now, it's a new day. I'm not even thinking about that no more. It's a whole new day. The, the kids over here, I'm not even thinking about that no more. It's a whole new day. So now I get in the bed, I'm playing with the kids. So she done cook breakfast, when she bring me breakfast, but she come in like she got this negative attitude. She got this negative energy going on and she giving a plate. I'm like, why are you looking like that? I'm like, what's wrong with you? But the whole time, guess she got an attitude because I broke up with her, but I, I didn't tell you to leave. I didn't kick you out or none of that. You know, so she just got this negative attitude and then the kids feel it. Cause Sean's like, mommy, uh, mommy, you okay? You okay? So I'm looking at her like, then she was like, she's like, stop asking me that, stop asking me that. But he asked again, he was like, mommy, mommy, you okay? She was like, stop asking me that. So then he, Sean asked me, Sean was like, Marky, you okay? I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. Then she was like, so she was packing her stuff. She was like, well, uh, you can take me home whenever you're ready. So now that done just pissed me off because now you still on this BS in front of these kids. You tripping in front of these kids. I ain't did nothing to you. You lied to me. I guess she tripping because I broke up with her, but I ain't tell you to leave. So now she was just packing her stuff. Now you, uh, whenever you're ready, you can take me and the kids home. So I jumped up. I went to packing her stuff for her. I'm taking you home right now. I'm ready right now. So I packed up, I packed up her stuff. Got in the car with the kids get in, put the kids in the, in the baby seat, Titus in the baby seat, put Sean in the thing. So she come out and I kind of, she had on some tights. She had on some tights. And then when I pointed at her, she pulled them down. She pulled them down because it's like, when you wear tights, some females, they had a print showing like, so I just pulled them down. Like you showing the whole world, you supposed you a queen, like cover yourself or, or, or fix yourself. And she fixed herself. so. I kind of, I kind of like, all right, I gave her a point for that because she could have been like, ah, oh, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, oh, I ain't doing nothing. You finna take me home. I can dress how I want to dress. But she fixed herself. So I, I'm like, all right, I caught that. So now when I go to the car and I open the door for her, she, ah, oh, you ain't got to open the door for me. So that really that pissed me off. You doing, you still doing this bullshit in front of these kids. And I'm still treating you like a queen. So I'm, I'm getting the car, I hurry up and take her home. Take her home, take her to her mom's house. We get out the car, the kids go in. I'm taking all her bags to the, to the front of the garage. Her, her, her mom's look at the door. Her mom's like, what's going on? So what's this? She's like, that's my stuff. Her mom's like, oh, okay. So she go in. I'm saying to myself, I, I, guess, I'm, I guess her mama happy now that she ain't want it with me. But so, all right, so I, I, I drop all her stuff by, uh, by the thing. I'm not told, I'm like, she's like, what's up? I'm, I'm like, man, I'm like, this is what you want, or this is what you go get. I said, remember now, you left, I ain't tell you to leave. Oh, well, you broke up with me, you broke up with me. I ain't, you shouldn't have broke up with me. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. Just remember, you left, and that is what it is. And I left, and I went home. All right, so you drove her and the kids home? Yes, sir. With her stuff? Yes, sir. You helped her take the stuff out and put it in the garage? Yes, sir. Okay. And so, and then you left. Mm -hmm. And that was on what day? Uh, I think the that, was the, that was the 11. Okay. So that would have been 12, 11. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next text that we see, when was the next contact you had with her? It must be some text is missing. Go back down. It got to be part on the, on the, on the 11. So this text is at 8.57 p.m. And so there's no text on the date of the 11th. The next text is on, it looks like 12.12, 12, 12, 12.36 a.m. They had to be on the 11th. I got, I, got some, I got the text messages over there. I don't know if they did that or did that one. Well, these are the texts that our, our expert got off the phone. So let's assume that these are all the texts. Uh -huh. So this is going to be 
the morning hours of the 12th. Well, if you dropped her off on the 11th, then this would have been that night going into the morning on mm -hmm. the 12th. So uh, I text a cool, but this had to be, this had to be on the 11th. Do you remember talking to her on the phone? Yes. And when I left, when I, when I left, I called her. We was talking. We was talking on the phone. So I said what I had to say. She was trying to argue. I said what I had to say, and I hung up the telephone. Okay. So when I called, her, and I thought about something, like, damn, I got something else to say. So I called her back. When I called her back, she was like, oh, you disrespectful, oh, mother, I ain't. You want to just say what you want to say? Just hang up the telephone. I ain't going to answer the phone. I ain't going to answer your calls, whatever, whatever. I'm like, all right, so she hang up the phone. So I basically just took that as you just not going to answer the phone because you want to do what you want to do. And, I, and I, I made a post on Facebook way back. I, I've been dealing with females all my life, so I, I know what's going on. I said, sometimes you can deal with a female and you can be with her. She can put on and, and be whatever you want them to be. But when, you, when the female feel like they ain't with you, I feel like they don't owe you nothing. They go show they they go show they they go show they real ass. So I would break I would break up with females just to see what they do to see if I'm really what you want. See if you finna fight for this or see if you finna go do what you want, really want to do anyway. Did there come a time when you sent her the text and uh, after the cool text? Yes. Okay, and read that text and tell me what what that I said. Is about. I said, well, where you? I said, where you at? That you can't talk to me. And who you with? And when w that was set at 3:10 a.m. That was at. Looks like 3:10 a.m. in the morning on the 12th. Yes. Okay. And w what did you mean by that text? To. I said, where you at? That you can't talk to me. And who you with? Uh, Were you trying to she call was, her? She was with. Um, yeah, I, I called him. I would call him. I, I don't know if I. Yeah, I called him. I was. I texted, but I called him. I think some, something missing. But I called her and she didn't answer, but then she called me, she FaceTimed me, and she, and she said she was at the, uh, at the club. See, this is not, it, it, it's the 11th missing. This is on the 12th now. This text is missing, it's the 11th missing. Okay, well let's talk about the 12th, because there doesn't appear to be any text that we have. So tell me about, so, I want you to read this text to me on right. the 12th. I'm going to go back and read it one up top and say, where you at that you can't talk to me? This is a whole other day. You miss, it's missing stuff. Where you at that you can't talk to me and who you with? So she didn't answer. So I just took that, all right, she's doing, she's living her life. She's doing what she want to do. And, so and you think her. you guys are done now? You think it's over? If, if she wanted to be, I just want to, I just want to make sure I had this baby. Okay. So. The next text I, I, I text, I'm like, live, live your, live your life how you choose, how you choose. But as you live in your life, think of, think of more of the life that grows, that grows in you. All people don't think on things they can't see or what's been done before. Don't, don't make it right now, and you probably won't get the same results. Whatever you want for your kids that walk this earth, want the same, want the same things for the, for the life that grows in you. It said goals, but it's a typo. It's goals. So it grows. let me ask you about typos. Did, is there typos throughout your text that? Yes, besides being, I got, I got a bunch of typos. Okay. So, let me see. Want the same thing for the life that grows in you. Would you Would you want your kids right now smoking weed or doing any kind of drink or drug? All I'm saying is want the same thing for the life that it said goes. But the typo grows grows in you and stop being selfish, thinking of self and clearly at this time you're living your life with someone else that can't choose but lives off but lives off the choices, but live off your choices. I guess I'm crazy or whatever. I'd be that, but it still doesn't take away from the truth. I envisioned my child and he or she was free from the pains of this world, including the pains I can cause you through bringing you stress. And with that being said, I'm out of your way for you to do as you choose. I just want I just want what's best for my child. But if you see different, so be it. I just have to be out of your way. I just have to be out of your way because I can't just sit on my hands and close my mouth to what I see. I love my child and it doesn't start 
the day it doesn't start the day of the birth we begin to raise them from the womb the love we give the food we feed and the air we breathe and i definitely can't keep a clear head with lies in our world but i'm here for but i'm here for my child one thousand percent and that's one thing you don't have to worry about i just wish i could give him or her the life i envisioned from the womb to the tomb but that takes two be you whatever it is and, and what are you what are you telling her through this text uh, that's li live your life. You know, God gave you a right to choose. That baby growing in you, I can't, I can't stop you. If you want to smoke this baby brains out, I can't stop you. So I'm just basically telling you, you want, you just want to smoke the baby brains out around me. Do you? I, but that, that's what you go do. You're not going to be with me doing it. And so, right. and so basically she was flat, she was saying that she smoked the weed when she had her other kids so I'm like all right just because that don't mean you go get the same results just because you did it before that don't mean you go get the same results and I and, and, and I and I feel like her, her, her child could be far could be farther along could be farther along far as in the mindset Cause I feel like well, I try to talk to Jit. You, he, you, you'll be, I'll be trying to talk to him, and he'll just be sitting there smiling and laughing like I'm talking to you, like talk back. Cause my my grandbaby, she was like a year and a half speaking three different languages. She can count to ten in Spanish, English, and and and, and Japanese. So it's like we. I think as, as our people, we hold our kids back even from birth. And I know that you can. Call you can call shows from the from the from the child from the womb, bringing stress and all that. I lost a child through bringing my baby mother stress, like doing stuff on purpose, bringing girls around her, making her try to go crazy, and she doing all this crazy stuff, and she ended up losing my child because the baby and the doctor said the baby died from stress. And then I used to watch the slavery movies, and I see that's how they used to they used to bring put fear inside the child through the mother's womb, and I and that. That's real, and I done been through it, so I knew. So I went, go, I'm not gonna stress you out. You can go do you and be what you be. So you text her again at 3.01 p.m. in the afternoon, and you say what? And you say I sold you out on Facebook. The thing I sent, the thing I sent you, I posted that. I, it's a typo, I put, it probably been never. I never posted that. The thing I sent you, I posted that at all. So you're assuming again, like you used to do, instead of asking questions. I thought about posting that, but I didn't, because I told myself I wouldn't do that. But I wanted you to know how I felt, so I screenshot it and sent it to you, but never, but never did I post that. So you saying I sold you out, you just running your mouth, but it's cool. That's what you were referring to before, that you didn't post it on Facebook, you sent her a screenshot of yes. the text. Yes. We saw that, correct? No, we didn't see the screenshot. We didn't see the screenshot? No, you didn't, okay. no, you didn't show it. And what does it say, the screenshot? It's long. Okay. I don't know. Could you summarize it? Just talking about people lying. Okay. So let's go now to the 3.03 p.m. The thing I sent you, I never posted that. I, I, I really said that because it was a typo. So I just put never. I didn't have never in there. All right. And I texted her, I said, I, I, need to, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. It's supposed to be you. The next one is you. Now, are you trying to call her and she's not answering? Yes. Okay. And so what do you want to talk to her about? Just, I want to talk to her and, and, and see where she really stands there because I'm thinking more about this baby. I put, uh, if, if you really done, just let me know and I can, I can deal with that. But I really love you and just need to know where you really stand. Because now, if I break up with you, I'm, I'm, I'm finna give you about two days to see if you finna fight for this love, if this is what you really want, or I'm gonna keep going on about my business. And, and now around by this time, I'm really going on about my business, but I'm trying to give you a chance. So I'll give you a compliment, I'm getting a complimentary, complimentary texts and calls, but whatever she's doing, she's doing. That's her business. And then she responds to you and she says, I'm glad you all had fun yes, out to eat. That's the next day, because she wasn't answering she wasn't answering none of that, that day. And that's on the thirteenth. 
No, nah, on all the texts it was on the 12th. This text she just sent me right here is on the 13th. Right, so her response is on the 13th. Yes. At 8.05 p.m. the yes. next night. Yes. And she said, this is literally like 50 minutes before, your, or 40 minutes before you head over to the house. Yes. Within a short period of time that you're going over to the house. Yes. And she says, I'm glad you all had fun out to eat. Now I know, don't expect no baby. Yes. And what is she, what are you thinking now when she's saying don't expect no baby? That either she go do something to kill the baby or get an abortion. And then how do you respond? I put I, I didn't I didn't I didn't go eat with nobody. What the hell are you talking about? Cause I didn't go eat with nobody. And, and, and what are you telling her? I'm telling her I ain't go eat with nobody. So she's saying I went out to eat with somebody, don't expect no bait. I'm like, I ain't go out to eat with nobody. What, what you talking about? And then she says to you, you can text, but can't pick up your FaceTime. Fuck you, Keith. Yes. And that's at 8.07 p.m. Yes, yeah, she tried to FaceTime me. She tried to FaceTime him on the phone. That's basically what I had another phone with what they call them, um, uh, the regular phone, not the Spencer phone, the Samsung or whatever that I'd use from the GPS. But when I got with her, she made me get an iPhone so she can do the FaceTime. So she would FaceTime me and make me do a 360. So she would FaceTime me and like give me a 360 so I do this, go around so she can see, so she can see who all around me and see where I'm at. All right, that's what you want me to do. I do that. And I got a, 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 a iPhone just for that. So when she FaceTimed me, my phone was dying. I was just getting back in the house, so my phone was dying. So it didn't have enough juice to pick up the FaceTime. So it cut off, and I went and tried to plug it up real quick to charge it up. But I text, and I text her back instead of FaceTime because you got to wait for the phone to charge the FaceTime. And then... She says, I'm not stupid at 8.07. And then she responds again at 8.07, about seven se seconds later, saying, stay with that hoe. Do you know what she's talking about at that time? No. At that moment? Not at that moment. OK. And you respond? Because I didn't go out to eat with nobody. My phone was, how did you respond? I was on my phone. My phone was dead. I've been home. And that's what you're talking about, or you're not being truthful to her? Yeah, no, I didn't go out to eat with nobody. But I was, I was home at that time, but I had him uh, just when they had sex with one of my exes. Say that again? I had him just when they had sex with one of my exes, but I'm not with her okay. at that time. And then she sends some attachments from Facebook. Yes. All right. She sent me three screenshots in a video. Okay, and so we're gonna go through those right now. You wanna just do this? Yeah. Yes, sir. And are these the screenshots? Yes. Okay, explain to the jury what these are. Uh, she, I guess she logged this to my private messenger, and I didn't know at the time. She logged to my private messenger, and she was screenshotting me, talking to other females, and, and uh, texting it to me. That was what she was saying. Now I know. Don't expect no baby, whatever she, all the stuff she was texting. So at this female right here, at one time, she sent me a friend request. So when, when this female sent me a friend request, I'm with Sade at the time. So I see her. I'm like, damn, she bad. But I don't accept as a friend. So I'm like, all right, because I see she uh, she was a dancer. So I didn't accept as a friend at the time. So while I'm at work, I wait till I get home. So when I get home, I go on the Facebook, I see the friend request is gone. So I ask Sade, I'm like, I'm like, you been on Facebook? And she's like, no, I ain't, I, I ain't been on Facebook. But I'm like, I know you've been on Facebook. You done deleted the, you done deleted the, you done deleted the friend request. So I'm like, so I ain't say nothing. You say you ain't been on Facebook. So I went on Facebook and sent the girl a friend. I sent the girl a friend request and she accepted it. 
being shot. They find out about that, and she was and she was mad about that. I'm, I'm like, yeah, but you just sitting there lied to me, told me you went on Facebook, but the girl sent me a friend request, and, and you done deleted the friend request. I said, I, I could have been accept the friend request, but I didn't accept it, because I often come, come home and ask you, did you know this girl? And if you had a problem with this girl, I won't even accept her as a friend, because you can go take off all the friends on my Facebook page if I'm with you. I don't care nothing about none of that. All right, so let's just there. make sure we're clear on this. So I want to stay focused on the point. No. Nope. She sends you, after my phone was dead and had been home, she sends you a bunch of attachments from Facebook. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. And what we're looking at here are the attachments. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is what she took from your Facebook. Yes, sir. Go back down. And when are you having these conversations here with this person? Uh, from Facebook. I don't go back down. I can't see the top of it. You too far up. It said Monday. Right. So is this going on at the same time that you've broken up with her? She's going on your Facebook and you're having communications with yes, people. Yes. Yes. She at home. Okay. And this is one of them. Yes, it's one of them. Wait, and that's her talking to you, and that's you responding. No, that's a, a, a female from Facebook talking to me. They're talking to you. Yeah. So this is all her. This is a girl this talking is, to you. It's me and the girl talking. Okay. Go down. I can't see everything. You're going the wrong way. Right there. I, I said, uh, so I know she was already after me. So I, I text, I, I'm, I'm like, what are you really about? Then she texts back, laugh out loud. What you mean? Questions. I said, in life, I said, what do you want out of life? What do you see yourself five years from now? What is your credit score? And what are your goals in life? So you're having another conversation with another female after you broke up with Sade. Yes. About the, some of the same things you had with Sade. Yes. Before. I got with her. You got with her. Mm hmm Credit scores, your goal in five years. Yes. You're having that same conversation. Yes. And then? And then she texts, she screenshot, uh, she messaged me back. She said, that, that's, one of those, that's one of those deep combos. Then I, I sent her back. I said, I'm, I'm not a simple nigga, but if you, but if you call, I said, I'm not a simple nigga, but if, but, but if you got time, I can tell you what I'm about. I can tell you what I'm about and what I got going on. I only ask one thing of you. Don't lie to me, no matter what. I rather deal. I rather deal with an honest hoe than a lying lady any day. God is the truth, and the devil is a lie. I won't demand. I won't demand nothing from you. Everything else, I won't demand nothing. I won't demand nothing else from you. Everything else, everything from there, is learned, accepted, or rejected. And so, Shade is reading this because she's got your password, and she's seeing this as it's going on. And she wants you to know, so she takes a picture of this and sends it to you. Yeah, she's seen it. She's seen it as it going on, or she just logged in and she and she's uh, checked it. Okay. E either way. And so she also sends you this, which you can't really see, but it appears to be some kind it's of picture. A, no, that's the video. That's the video. It's not a picture. It's a video. And what's that? The video of? It's a video from Facebook. She sent. She sent me a video. It's not a picture. Do you remember what it was? The video? Yeah, it was me in the script club. The okay. one, the one Savelli said he distracted off, he took it off there too. That's what, that's what he, that's that. So did you go live from the strip club? I was live in the strip club. Right after you dropped her off and you're going about your business, you're back at the strip club doing what? Yeah, that was Monday, Monday night, early Tuesday morning. So I'm in the, so I'm in the strip club. I go to the club. I usually don't. I don't even go in strip clubs like that. But I'm a I'm a security guy in a couple strip clubs. So at this cl uh, strip club is Crystal Cabaret. So I went out that night. I am, I'm single. I ain't got nobody. So I'll go hang out. But I wasn't go go even go in the club because I'm not gonna pay to go in the club. So somebody else that know me from from the other strip club, they was like, "What you want me to get you in?" I'm like, "Yeah, because I ain't paying to go in. If I gotta go in." So they get me in, I go in, and there's some girls in the club that I know, and it's their birthday. So I go live, like, happy birthday to homegirl tweet. I'm going live, and they dancing. And then I went, I left that club, 
and went to a, uh, another club, the club that I work at, and, and met someone that night too also. But she she texted me that, talking about, uh, I, oh, you took that hole, you took that hole to the club, you put that hole on your Facebook, you got the nerve, I would never disrespect you like that, break up with you in two days, and you fucking around already. That was the other text message that I guess that's coming All right, up. we'll talk about that in a second. So, she's, so she sends you this conversation that you're having with this girl, a video of you being at the strip club. Mm -hmm. She also sends you this conversation with this woman. Yes. I say, uh, es excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Do you, do you have a sister and what's her name? You look for me. She said, yes, I have a lot of sisters. We went to Carver Middle School. I said, I said, uh, me and, me and probably Ann's type of, said, me, you, me and you used to kick it? The question. Your, your sister used to mess with Odell? That's one of my homeboys. Then she put, uh, I, I know we did, I know we did, but I seen you in a relationship and respect is all I have for that. But I see you on your fitness, me too. You probably can help me, you probably can help me with, with some things. I put me and her not together at this time. Me and her not together at this moment. Cause me and her not together at this moment, cause we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Laugh out loud. And yeah, I, I can work you out. You ready now? Okay, so you're having another conversation on your Facebook where you're absolutely saying that you and Sade are not together. Yes. She sees that and she's sending that to you along with the other Facebook stuff that she sent you. Yes. Right? All right. Hold on, Mr. Lund. Does anyone on the jury need a break? You guys Judge, okay? can we come sidebar for a second? Yeah. Sure, Before? thanks. <laughs> 